Hello friends, I'm Janna Eubank for Hip Kit Club and I'm here with my first layout using the July 2023 Hip Kits. This collection this month is called Summer Is Here, which is a perfect name because this kit features all kinds of fun summery icons, tropical colors, and it makes me actually crave an ice cream cone. That's what I want. I want some ice, some sherbet ice cream right now after looking at all these pretty colors. <laughs> all right, so my, my assignment this month or for this first layout for this month is to create a background using the letter dies from June. So these are the Taylor alphabet dies from June 2023. They're an awesome alphabet. Like you need these. They're about an inch high and the font is so versatile. I really love it. It pairs great with all the letter stickers that we've been getting in the kits and it's a great size to add a bolder uh, word to your title. So I'm using the cardstock kit as my base but also to die cut out all these letters. I'm using the minty chill blue for the background. I'm actually using the chevron printed size, side of that cardstock and then I picked out six of the other colors to use to die cut these letters. This was a kind of a, you know, patient process. You could see my cat was just chilling with me there as I, as I placed all these letters there, but I really love how they look. Now I wanted this page to look like it had some water splashed up on it, almost like you were sitting at the beach and the ocean spray is coming across and just misting you as you appear, as you hang out and look at this page. So I used some of the dip your toe t it teal magicals from the July 2023 color kit and I just mixed it with a bit of water. Now this, these are just powders that have a bit of shimmer to them and color to them and you mix, can mix them with other things as well. You can mix them into your texture paste or other things like that but I just used it with water and I love the way that it looks. So now that I have my letters or my words all across this page, I'm going to just kind of underline it with the chill blue branding strip across the bottom just to finish that off. And now I'm coming back with my clear ruler and I'm actually measuring out one and one eighth inch from the sides of those letters and just trimming that down. And then I'll tri trim the top and bottom down as well so that this inner square of paper is about 10 and three quarter inches. And I'm going to mat that on the escape paper. I love that rainbow paper. It looks like a beautiful tropical sunset with the ocean at the bottom of it. And I thought it made the perfect mat for this layout where I'm going to be scrapbooking some tropical photos. And I'll, I'll talk about those in a second. So now that I have all of these letters on the background, I took this over to my sewing machine and I stitched around the edges and then I double stitched through each row of those letters. Now I know most of these letters are going to be behind my photos, but it just bothers me when, when I don't have a complete page, especially because I don't know if I'm going to change my mind about the size of photos or what photos I'm using with this background. So I just went ahead and did all the letters. Now I originally had four by six photos to go on this layout, but I decided to reprint them in a smaller size. So these are now printed at three and a half by five. And I think these work a lot better because I'm able to mat them with some of the beach paper that has that minty blue wave on the background. And then it also shows more of those letters. You know, I went to all that hard work to line them up on my page. And so you might as well show off as much as you can. So now that I have my background done, I'm ready to head over to my embellishments, which let's face it, that, okay, my favorite parts of a kit, pattern paper, which Hip Kit Club does amazing. All of the pattern papers are always so beautiful. But my other favorite part, oh, who am I kidding? It's all my favorite part. I love the embellishments. I love the dies. I love the papers. You got to have it all. But my favorite part of the scrapbooking process is embellishing. I think it's so much fun to pull out all the different types of embellishments and start combining them together in clusters on my page. So that is what I'm doing here. Now, the first embellishment that I'm looking through were the chipboard pieces that comes from the embellishment kit. And now I'm sifting through the die cuts from the main kit. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for for pieces that are a little bit larger and also that are, are simple in color. That's because my background with all of those colorful letters is quite busy and quite colorful. So I need pieces that will stand out against that colorful background. You can see that I chose that, um, that palm tree piece there, that oval piece in the center to go in between the two photos. And then I'm building a cluster in the upper left corner of my photo with some clouds, a flower, and another simple colored palm tree piece, that circular piece that is blue and white. And then I found a, um, 
script word that I'm going to place in the lower right hand corner. Now, because I did all those words in the background, I didn't feel like I needed a big, bold title. So I try, I'm, I'm trying to limit the wording that I put on other in other areas of my page. But when I saw that script relaxing piece in the chipboard pieces, I had to add that because I love the way that it's different. It's the script, you know, it's, it's different than the block words in the background. And so I'm able to, it stands out from everything else, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then everything else are, is going to end up being like a little scene. So I've decided to place this relaxing at the bottom. I, I don't, I'm trying not to cover up the paradise because I want it to kind of say paradise relaxing, but I do, as I build that cluster with the umbrella to the right of the word relaxing, I do cover up the end of that word. And I'm okay with that because you can see paradise over and over and over again in other areas of the page. So it's, it's, it still makes sense. So, um, I did use one of those dimensional umbrellas by that relaxing. I'm adding some seashells down there, a little phrase and some fishes or a school of fish. And then down, um, in the, at the bottom of the photos, I'm kind of adding like little beach things, right? Things that you would take as you're relaxing on the beach. So we got the beach bag, we've got the, um, you know, the, the tropical drinks, which we did enjoy that day, non-alcoholic tropical drinks. And then at the top of the page in the upper left-hand corner, I've just done some other things like the sun and the clouds. We had the beautiful weather that day and then just an accent of that beautiful tropical pink flower. So I love how these uh, clusters are looking, but I do want to help them stand, stand out a bit more from that colorful background. So what I decided to do is grab some of the jungle green cardstock and the tropical leaves dye, and I'm I die cut out several of the palm leaves. Now these palm leaves are kind of busy and kind of textural on their own, but when you combine them together, they almost act like an anchoring piece um, um, because they're solid in color. And as you layer them together, it adds, of course, a tropical feel to the page. It also connects with the tropical leaves or the palm leaves in the photos, but it does help all those colorful pieces stand out against the colorful background and against the colorful photos. So it, it did double duty. So here I have just dry fitted all of those beautiful embellishments together. And now I'm going to come back in with some liquid adhesive and foam tape and adhere everything into place. I don't show the entire process of doing this because it doesn't change much, but I do pop in and out as I, you know, add these to the page and hopefully you get a good sense of what's happening. So with those die cuts, I mostly cut those palm leaves, but I also die cut some little pieces of that skinny leaf that looks almost like a feather just to mix in. So, um, I, I had just some empty spaces on that uh, jungle green cardstock where I die cut out those palm leaves. So I just die cut the tips of that feather shaped leaf and I'm just interspersing them in there with the other leaves just to add more of that solid green color to help those clusters stand out. And also just, it makes it feel really tropical and fun. So I'm about done with these clusters. I did decide that I needed something down below that umbrella above that word relaxing. So I'm going back through the main kit cardstock die cuts and I find this little lemon slice and the camera. So I'll pop that up with some foam tape and then I'll finish that off with a, that little orange heart. I also added in a dimensional flower from the dimensional stickers to each of those clusters. You can see the little one, the little pink flower with the diamond, the little yellow one with the diamond. And now I'm just finishing off this page with a tab from the main cardstock dies die cuts and stamping the date on that this stamp is from the January pocket life kit I love this stamp I use it on almost every single layout that I create and I think it's an awesome stamp set if you haven't got it yet be sure to pick up the January pocket life kit before they're gone so I did add in a few more little oval phrase pieces and then I'm just giving you a close-up look at each of these clusters. I love the way this turned out. I love each of those clusters. It almost feels like I'm back on this beach again. Again, these pictures were taken in Cozumel uh, on in a place called the Chunk, Chunkadab. Uh, I'm gonna say it wrong. I wrote it down, so I, I'm not gonna pronounce it right, but it's the Chunkadab Adventure Beach Park in Cozumel. So if you ever want to visit there, it's a beautiful place to be. All right, guys, my name is Jana Eubank for Hip Kit Club. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.